We've just gone over disease and antibodies. Let's move on to inheritance. When we talk about inheritance, what does that mean? If you inherit something, it means that you have received something from someone. It could be from nature, or from your parents or other relatives. This is called the basic nature-nurture concept. No person on this earth looks exactly the same as another person, apart from twins. There's a reason for that. For one thing, it would be very boring if everyone looked the same. But the technical reason is that we all have a unique genetic code. These genetic codes, or DNA, are found in the nucleus of your body's cells. They are strands of protein that determine our eye colour, our height, our weight and so on. There are two broad types of variations in these codes. Continuous variation, which controls features like our height and weight on a continuous scale. So you can be 1 metre or 6 metres, depending on how tall your DNA wants you to be. Secondly, there is a discrete variation. This may be something like your blood group. You could be A, B or O, positive or negative, but you can't be anywhere in between. DNA is found in every single cell within our body, and the way DNA is arranged is called chromosomes. In every human cell there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. This makes up 46 altogether, except in sperm and egg cells, where there are 23 each, making up a whole when they come together. The code will be pretty much the same for every single human being, but what makes us so unique is the way these bases are arranged in codes. It's just like telephone numbers. You dial one number for one person, but if you change the arrangement of those digits even slightly, you'll get your call connected to someone else. So for your eye colour, you have your own unique code for the colour blue. Another person may have the same colour, but their code is different. If you were to unravel a chromosome, it would be like a double helix, like a twisted ladder. On both sides you have something called bases. These are the steps of the ladder. DNA has four bases, C, G, A and T. C and G are always paired together. A and T are also always paired together. Even if it is the other way round, you never get C matching with A or G matching with T. Inheritance happens when genes are passed down from one generation to the next. This can happen in two forms, either meiosis or mitosis. Meiosis is the division of cells that only occurs in sex cells. So when an egg or sperm divide, it is divided into half the amount. Therefore we have 23 chromosomes from the egg and 23 from the sperm to make a whole cell of 46 chromosomes. Mitosis is a regular division that happens every day all the time. This has been genetics and inheritance. Make sure you make notes all of the way through and go back over any part you didn't understand. The next lesson is on drugs.